Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Doug and today I've got another short topic for you. This time I'm going to be talking a little bit more of a style of cap that I don't wear very often and that is a dad cap. And uh, I've started to look at these a little bit more frequently now only because the prices of fitted caps, my favorite, the 5950, um, have been out of control. So it's not as easy to buy those as often. And so I've been kind of looking at 47 brand and some other lower cost, low silhouette models. A number of manufacturers offer this dad hat style. Probably the most popular ones are the 920 and 940 from New Era and the Cleanup and MVP. And maybe there's a couple others that 47 brand makes. But anyways, they're always characterized by that low silhouette, the really low profile, but also a very extreme curve on the visors most of the time. And that's what I was trying to uh, find a workaround for, because you can see here, I like a little bit shallower curve. And uh, ordinarily, I also wear glasses when I'm doing lots of work on the computer or things like that. So I wear glasses for that. And I always need to make sure that I've got room under the visor to fit those. The other thing that I found with 3930s or this style of cap is that the visor is sometimes so aggressive that it takes away some of your peripheral vision. So there are times when I don't even like to wear these caps when driving to look to one side or another. Um, you ideally want that visor a little bit more out of the way. So that's why I decided to do this as well. So the cap that prompted this was really this uh, Giants Cooperstown cap. Now this is a 47 MVP adjustable. It's got the Velcro strap in the back. This is a different kind of cap than I'm used to buying. And I've already done the work on this model and I'll show you how I got there. But really why I did this was because the curve on this visor started out very deep and I was having trouble wearing my glasses with it. You know, I've got plenty of videos out there that show you how to curve a visor when you're starting with a flat one, like on a 5950. And I always recommend steaming to do that. Now, the cool thing about these dad caps, and if you want to relax that curve a little bit, is that you can steam it to open the curve up, of course. I mean, that kind of makes common sense, but I wanted to try it with this cap in particular to see if I could make some headway and get that to be a more comfortable um, visor profile uh, for my everyday wear and use. Here's the Giants cap. You can see the starting position of that visor and the aggressive curve that's there right now. Now this is a plastic visor, so I'm going to heat it a little bit longer than some of the new era visors, but let's go ahead and do that. Basically, you just want to Give it 10 to 15 seconds and think about when it's starting to feel soft and pliable. And once you do that, you just simply open it up to a position that is helpful for you. So you can see here I'm holding that open a little bit more than it started out. And hopefully this will give me clearance for my glasses and open up the body of the cap a little bit. Here's a quick photo of how I did this to a 3930 that I had as well. You can see on the Cincinnati Reds cap that it is far more shallow than on the Pittsburgh Pirates cap, which is still untouched from the way I purchased it at the store. So again, it's just making a little bit of room under that visor um, for vision, peripheral vision, and for my glasses to fit and just relaxing the look of the cap a little bit. The second thing, and I've covered this in other videos, is that when you curve the visor, you actually change the shape of the perimeter of the cap. So you might find that if you go to flatten out the visor a little bit more, it's gonna make the shape of the cap a little bit different. And you may need to open up the adjustment as that visor gets flatter. So just a quick tip and something I discovered during this. So again, this is a super simple method and it's just the opposite of what I usually talk about, which is curving a flat visor. Now, this happens to occur with dad caps where they come out of the box with a very aggressive curve. Uh, that doesn't always work for me. Maybe it doesn't for you either. Uh, and this is just a simple way to relax the curve without harming the visor. 
So again, I always recommend steam. You just got to be careful not to overheat any areas of the cap, especially the adjacent areas like the buckram in the front two panels. Um, but other than that, just heat it until it gets uh, a little bit softer in your hands. And uh, like most processes, the modern visors are pretty durable um, and you can repeat this as needed. Uh, in case you don't quite get as far as you want to get uh, the first time you do it. So repeat it as needed. Your cap is going to be pretty durable for this. Just don't overheat it. Um, don't leave it in that steam for too long. Um, and you'll get a sense for, uh, for that after you do it a couple of times. So hopefully this makes a better fit for you if you feel like the curve is too aggressive on some of these dad cap styles. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.